Arab invasion of North Africa was of great consequence. Many Africans fled south from North Africa to lands south of the Sahara to avoid enslavement. Those that remained were converted to Islam. Arabs occupied Egypt in 639 AD, Tripoli in 643, and southwest Morocco by 681. In 698, they appointed Musa ibn Nusayr, governor of North Africa. Musa wanted to take control of Spain, but feared that an invasion at this time would exhaust his armies. In Spain, the Visigoths, Germans, had been in control for the previous 200 years. They are the ancestors of modern Spanish identity, seized Spain from the rule of the ailing Roman Empire. What did Musa do next? In 710, Musa sent a reconnaissance mission of 500 African converts to Islam into Spain led by Taraf, a fellow African using four ships supplied by Musa, they landed at a port today called Tarifa and plundered Algericas. Tarifa was not the original name of the port. The victorious expedition renamed it in honor of Tarif. Incidentally, the Moors at a later date imposed a special tax at this port. Example, a tariff. In 711, Musa sent a second and more formidable African army into Spain. Tariq ibn Ziyad, the African governor of Mauritania, led the expeditionary force of 6,700 African soldiers and 300 Arab translators and propagandists. In Spain, they occupied Moncalpe, which they renamed Jebel Tariq, meaning Hill Rock of Tariq. In more recent times, the Spanish have corrupted this name to produce Gibraltar, so that too is named after an African. European writers sympathetic to the Spaniards remembered the conquest in this way. The reins of their horses were as fire, their faces black as pitch, their eyes shone like burning candles, their horses were swift as leopards, and the riders fiercer than a wolf in a sheepfold at night. The noble Goths, the German rulers of Spain to whom Roderick belonged, were broken in an hour, quicker than tongue can tell. Oh, luckless Spain! Abdel Rahman was a Umayyad prince of mixed Arab and African ancestry. May 756, he became ruler of Islamic Spain and the first of the important Umayyad monarchs, divided the country into military districts and administered it on this basis, creating a standing army of 40,000 men, mostly Africans. He also began a navy and agriculture. He made developments that led to the growth of the farming industry. He introduced accurate land surveying, built granaries to combat food shortages, and established effective irrigation canals. From the Middle East, he imported cotton, fruits, rice, spices, sugarcane, and vegetables, the industries that developed from Abdel Rahman the first policies. In time, these policies stimulated Spanish farming and other industries. Sugarcane and cotton were planted near the Mediterranean coastal regions. Figs and olives were farmed in the south. Oranges and wine were cultivated in Granada and Malaga provinces. Oranges, rice, and palm trees sprouted in Valencia. Silk industry grew up in Murcia. Leatherwork and dyeing flourished in Cordova. Ordnance developed in Toledo. Ceramics industry prospered in Almeria. Now this is what the Science Museum in Grenada has to say. Great advances were also made in hydraulic technology in Al-Andalus. The traditions of engineering were combined with new ideas emanating from the Islamic world from two principal areas, Syria and North Africa. The Eastern writer, Al-Yazari, was a leading proponent of these new ideas. Some of the hydraulic devices developed in Al-Andalus were as follows. A. Water lifting devices. Water mill or water wheel powered by flowing water. Consists of a vertical wheel with no gear set located on rivers or watercourses and powered by the force of the water. Water is collected from the river or watercourse in buckets or compartments on the outside of the wheel or mill and lifted up to a higher level. Animal-powered water lifting device, the most widely used system in Al-Andalus for extracting water. These were wheels powered by an animal and consisted of two drive wheels, a horizontal wheel powered by an animal connected to the wheel by a wooden shaft. A vertical wheel positioned inside the well with buckets on the outside which fill with water at the bottom before being emptied into a trough at the top.